Dancing on Ice is back after a four-year hiatus, with original hosts Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield back at the helm. The tenth series kicked off on Sunday night with half of the celebrity skaters taking to the rink to impress the judges and the other half patiently waiting until next weekend's show. With its glitz and glamour, but the potential for hilarious moments a la Todd Cartier plenty, the question on just why it ever went off air must be asked. So, why did Dancing on Ice finish in 2014? Dancing on Ice ran from 2006 to 2014, bowing out with a night season which brought the best characters since Series 1 back together for an all-stars series. It was announced in May 2013 that Series 9 would be the last with coaches Jane Torval and Christopher Dean. While there were rumors that it could be saved from cancellation with new coaches, in October that year it was confirmed that Dancing on Ice was definitely being axed after Torval and Dean's departure. However, fast forward four years and it would appear the TV viewing public were missing DOI as it was renewed for a brand new season. While Holly and Philip have fronted the show since its incarnation in 2006, Christine Lampard replaced Holly in 2012 and stayed with the show until 2014. And according to Judge Jason Gardner, the previous panel just DIDNT float his boat. What feels great is that for the first time the panel feels solid. Everybody that's on it is an expert in their own right and have incredible experience that they're going to bring to the panel and to the show, he said. Discussing the 2014 panel, which was comprised of Gardner, Karen Barber, Robin Cousins and Ashley Roberts, he coyly added, it was missing people who had experience of dance. I'm not naming names, Jason added, we weren't allowed to talk about the choreography, and as a choreographer, I wasn't able to mention it for 10 years because it was given to them. This year the pros have to choreograph the routines. It's not just about the pro, it's about the celebrity injecting their personality into the formation of choreography. Who are the Dancing on Ice 2018 judges this year's celebrities will be judged by four sets of BDIs. None other than skating champions Jane Torval and Christopher Dean will be sat on the panel this year, alongside diversity star Ashley Banjo and veteran judge Jason Gardner who is hosting Dancing on Ice 2018 this morning hosts Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield are reunited once more on presenting duties. Holly and Philip previously presented the show, with Holly's last series being the sixth season in 2011. Philip was then joined by Christine Bleakley until the show went off air in 2014. In fact, a bunch of uber-glamorous glam shots were released before Christmas showing the judges and presenters in their finery ahead of this weekend's launch. Judges Ashley Banjo, Jane Torval, Christopher Dean and Jason Gardner hosts Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield Jane Torval and Christopher Dean Jason Gardner Ashley Banjo So who's in this year's Dancing on Ice lineup? Anthony Cotton, Coronation Street actor who plays Sean Tully Candice Brown, the Great British Bake Off 2016 winner Max Evans, Rugby Union player Donna Eyre, TV personality Kem Seatony, Love Island 2017 winner Stephanie Waring, Hollyoaks actress Brooke Vincent, Coronation Street actress, who plays Sophie Webster Cheryl Baker, TV presenter and former Bucks Fizz singer Monty Panisar, English international cricketer Alex Beresford, TV presenter Perry Shakes Drayton, British track and field athlete Jake Quickenden, former X Factor contestant Dancing on Ice returns on Sunday, 7 January at 6pm on ITV1. If you've got a story, video or pictures get in touch with the metro.co.uk entertainment team by emailing us celebtips at metro.co.uk, calling 020-3615-2145 or by visiting our Submit Stuff page we'd love to hear from you. More, Philip Schofield accused of taking drugs by Miriam Margulis on This Morning More, Max Evans absolutely stacks it on dancing on ice as he tries to skate over carpet.